All right, guys and gals, I have an interesting story today. So sometimes I usually go to, you know, um, sites like, you know, used to be newspapers. I used to live in New York, so I used to read the New York Post. And I was living there for a couple of years that I was there. Um, and, you know, sometimes I look at these things. Washington Post, I mean, now is a good time to be in touch with the news. If you are not in touch with the news, um, check your news every day to see what's going on in the world with this, with the Rona. You know what I'm saying? With the Rona. Is that what they call it? <laughs> you know, so came across this article from a couple of days ago. I wanted to make a video on it. Um, because it's an interesting article. Now, I've read a little bit of the article. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I'm just going to give you guys some highlights, right, of this article. And, you know, I'm just going to read a couple and then I'm going to have some comments on it. Um, because this is something that I've been through. Um, you know, um, People want to do do whatever you want. These people are not, they're not getting a divorce or anything. This is Tom Brady and Giselle Bunchen or whatever her name is. <laughs> Bunchen. She has a weird name. She's also a supermodel, right? She's a supermodel, right? Tom Brady married this woman. Now, I want you to, I want you to keep this in mind, okay? First of all, I want you guys to keep this in mind that I'm about to tell you right now. Right. I want you to keep this in mind. If you don't know who Tom Brady is and you want to go look him up, go look him up if you want. To. But I'm going to give you some some basic stats. Right. So you can understand who Tom Brady is. I follow football. I don't really I don't really watch it that much. You know what I'm saying? My favorite team is the New York Giants. Um, Tom Brady played for the Patriots, the American, American football. Right. So he plays played for the Patriots. He just actually exercised his free agency. He said he's not going back to the Patriots, right? So just to give you a few stats, when he was with the when he was with the Patriots, he went to nine Super Bowls. That means nine championship games, okay? Nine championship games to win the championship for the season. Nine times. He went to Super Bowl. That's a record. He holds the record for going to the most Super Bowls. Okay. To the most Super Bowls. Right. He's won six of those. Six of those. He holds the record for winning the most Super Bowl as an individual. Okay. Who plays American football. He has won six out of nine. OK, also, he's won four MVPs out of those six Super Bowl wins. He has won four MVPs. Right. And those are just the basic stats. Now, this man makes hundreds of millions of dollars. OK, I just want you to keep the, these stats in mind. Remember all of these stats, because as I read this article, I become very disgusted. OK, so all credit goes out to Jack, um, Jacqueline Hendricks for, for, for writing this article and you know what I'm saying to her credit. So title of this of this article is Tom Brady had to adapt when Giselle Bunchen wasn't satisfied without marriage. Now, remember all that I just told you, right? This man plays professional sports. OK, now listen, we're going to read it. And then I'll have and then I'll have my comments. I might stop sometimes just to comment on some stuff that was written here because some of them are quotes. OK, so just going to read a little bit here. It's going to get to a point where it's going to piss me off. So <laughs> let's just get into it. Tom Brady cautioned listeners Wednesday not to judge a book by its cover, especially when said cover is wife Giselle Bunchen. Right now, he said this. when asked about his relationship with the Brazilian born model, Brady told Howard Stern during a serious XM inter interview his spouse of 11 years is different from what the public perceives. She's probably very different. This is a quote. She's probably very different than how people would probably see her. 
what's been portrayed as a fashion model, Brady said, right? Noting the 39-year-old stunner is a very spiritual woman. She's very spiritual, okay? Bunchen, who practices meditation, believes in trying to heal herself, according to Brady, and while the couple emulates the idea of a perf of a picture-perfect unit, which includes Brady's son, Jack, with ex Bridget um, Moynihan, in addition to their two kids, daughter Vivian and son Benjamin, like most, this is the two of them, if you don't know them, that that's the face, right? That, that's them, right? There was a couple years ago, she didn't feel I was doing my part for the family. Now, this is Brady saying this. She felt like I would play football all season and she would take care of the house into all. And no, sh hold on. I'm skipping way ahead. Okay, so let's read that again. There was a couple years ago, she didn't feel I was doing my part for the family, Brady said. She felt like I would play football all season and she would care, take care of the house. And then all of a sudden, when the season would end, that I'd be like, great, let me get into all my other business activities. Let me get into my football training. And she's sitting there going, well, when are you going to do things for the house? When are you going to take the kids to school and do that? Brady said he had to check himself and made a big transition two years ago to get things back on track. That including skipping OTA practices with the with the Patriots that pepper the latter parts of the off season. Okay, she wasn't satisfied with our marriage, so I needed to make a change in that. Brady also revealed Bunchett wrote him a artful letter that he still has, a reminder for him that life is ever evolving. What worked for us 10 years ago won't work for us forever, he said. We're growing in different ways. Okay, so I ended up reading the entire thing. But I got pissed off when he said he had to check himself. What? Bruh. Now, I want to recall... All of the stats that this man has. And those are just the basic stuff. Basic records that anybody should know about Tom Brady. If you know him at all. If you want to know about him at all. Those are the just basic stuff that I think you should know about Tom Brady. Now, this man make hundreds of millions of dollars. Right? And I'm not saying that a woman, that, that alone should satisfy a woman. That's not what I'm getting at. This man works his ass off. If you know anything about Tom Brady, it doesn't take luck to go to nine Super Bowls, okay? That takes dominance, hard work, bruh. I'm, I'm getting hyped. I'm, I'm getting hyped because, because my blood is boiling right now. My blood is boiling right now because... It's just crazy to me that you can have a woman and right now this is this is simping 101 man this is simping 101 why is it that women feel this man is I I can't even get my words out because this guy puts in this kind of work and this woman is worried about she she's worried about him doing stuff in the house are you kidding me are, are you serious taking the skid the kids to school in the off season are you trying to tell me that i play I go out and I play one of the most rigorous sports, contact sports there is, where they have to be putting in rules today to protect the players from getting CTE. For them to stop knocking their heads amongst each other and turning into babbling idiots later in life. And this woman is worried about this woman is worried about this man doing all this stuff in the seat. No, bruh. I still got to take care of business. These kids still got to eat. And you worried about taking kids to school and doing stuff around the house? Are you serious? Let me guess. You want you you want to you you want to go walk the runway, right? 
This woman don't have to work another day in her life, bro. She doesn't have to work another day in her life, bro. And she's still complaining. Are you serious? And he's checking himself? Come on, Tom. I had more respect than that for you, bro. I would have never guessed that Tom is not an alpha male. I would have never guessed it. I would have never guessed that this man is 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 here. I don't want to. I, I, you know, we like to include ourselves into things that don't concern us. But when you go on the radio, because the Howard Stern show is a radio show, it's on Sirius XM, right? You know? When you go on the radio, you make shit public like this, bro. We could talk about it. We could talk about it. You know what I'm saying? You are not. You are not. The ruler in your relationship, obviously. You get what I'm saying? Obviously. I mean, this man is giving her kids. You know what I'm saying? We we having kids. Right? In between everything that I have to go through during the season, playing playing 16 games, battering my body, getting hit by dudes who don't give a sh give a shit if I if I get up, get back up on two feet when they hit me. And in the off season, you're telling me that I gotta do stuff around the house. Are you serious right now, dude? What around the house, by the way? You know what I'm saying? The only thing I need to do in the off season is play with my kids. <laughs> That's all I needs to do. And you need to bend over when I need you to. You guys need to understand something, man. And 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 that's the thing. Like I don't want I don't want any woman that's on my channel to, you know what I'm saying? Cuz if you if you step to me, I'm not going to say anything different because I have been I have been elevated or have been illuminated to to so many things. Been in so many different relationships with so many different types of women and it always always boils down to one thing. I mean just now Right. Just now I was just doing a reaction. I was just doing a reaction to to Viking. Right. And. My girl decided to wait until I started doing reactions, even though I asked her, do you need anything before I go sit down and do these reactions? No, babe. We good. We're all good. It's nothing. You know, I don't need anything. I don't need to talk. I don't. I'm like, are you sure? Right? And she says, no, I'm pretty sure I don't need you for anything. 20 minutes into my reaction, she comes knocking on the door. 20 minutes! Right? She comes knocking on the door. And this is the, this is the kind of stuff that I, that I keep saying to her, stop doing stuff like that because it's going to let is going to let resentment creep in. She doesn't understand what I'm talking about because I keep telling her, don't do this stuff. Don't do that. Wait until I'm done. Wait until I'm done. And that's, that's exactly what I got up to tell her. Wait until I'm done. And she's like, but, but I'm like, no, wait until I'm done. I don't want to hear it. Wait until I'm done. Because you add, you had my ear. You add, you had it. I willingly offered it to you, right? No, I don't care if you thought of it after. I don't care about that. Whatever it is, it's not an emergency, is it? 
No, it's not, because it's never an emergency. It's ne it never is. Because trust me, if it's an emergency, you're not going to come tap at the door. You're going to be banging on it. And yes, I locked the door to my reaction room, to my little, my little, my little den here. I locked the door. Okay? Let me tell y'all something, man. I mean, not only for the fact that she, you know, the living room is pretty close to the room and sometimes she's watching TV and stuff like that. And, you know, if I don't want that to be coming into the room, I have to lock the door. And the, the, the room is soundproof. It's just crazy to me sometimes, man. How these things just, they just happen. And they just happen and they think it's cool. They think it is cool because if you do not say to them, listen, uh, he failed the shit test, man. If you guys know what I'm talking about, he failed the shit test. That was the shit test. And you checked yourself. You see, the minute you check yourself and don't check her, you're in for it, my friend. You are in for it. You are not in charge anymore. He failed the shit test. You know what I mean? I just don't understand why is it no matter what you do, no matter what position you're in, women are always trying to test your patience with them. And you got to stay strong. You got to you got to stay strong. You got to stay strong. You got to pull up. You got to let them know who's in charge because women women seem to want to think that they're in charge. You're not in charge. You can't be in charge because the minute you're in charge, this relationship is doomed. It's doomed. You have to, as a man, remain in charge of a relationship. You have to. In his position, he has all the right to remain in. There's nothing that this woman should be, should be able to throw at you that you can't shut down and be like, okay. That's what you want to do? Okay. Just know this. You get what I'm saying? You know, I, there's a lot of things that people that people talk about. That people talk about. That I would love to address on this channel. Because a lot of times, I, you know, I don't want to turn this into, oh, this bashing woman or whatever the situation is, because that is not what this is about. I'm not bashing women, but the majority of women out there today, they are so entitled. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And you have moms training their daughters to be like this. I mean, look at the situation with the OnlyFans thing nowadays where women are making ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 a month and they're not even taking off their clothes. This is what we're talking about. And to all you simps out there that are doing this, man, that are paying these women to, to see cleavage. Cleavage. Are you serious? Cleavage, man. That is what we're doing now. I hope none of none of my subscribers ain't doing this. I hope none of y'all ain't out here simping like this. Hoping that one day she will love me. Listen, man, I used to be in I used to be in that category. I need you guys to wake up. If you're one of those people, wake up, man. These women out here, the majority of them is no good. Don't believe anything they say. If you don't assert your dominance over women, if you, I don't care what they want to say, you're a misogynist. Don't believe the hype. Don't, don't quiver. Don't roll up into your turtle shell because one of them look at you, oh, this, this, this is misogynistic. Don't roll up. You are a man. Assert your dominance. 
If you can find a woman that understands that and they don't disrespect you, I'm telling you, I'm not asking you, I'm telling you that this woman right here disrespects Tom Brady every chance she gets. Whether it was after whether it was after this conversation or before that, I really did. I re I, I really thought that Tom Brady was an alpha male. He's not. He's a straight up beta male. He checked himself. What? Come on, bruh. Come on, man. Come on, man. I hate to say this about arguably the best arguably the best quarterback to 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 ever play in the NFL. I hate to say it about him, but it's the truth, man. It's the truth. I would have never guessed this. I mean, sometimes I see posts like this, you know, I, I scurve them over because, you know, it's, it's whatever, you know. But I want to know what is this thing going on these days with, you know, the, the boldness and the entitlement of women. And I'm not saying they shouldn't speak. I, I'm all, if you're talking about for women's rights and all of this other stuff, I'm all for it. There's a, there's a lot of things that I, that I frown upon that I think, you know, people do take for granted. And there's a lot of, and there's a lot of other stuff too, when it comes on, when it comes on to women that I'm looking at and, I, and I'm like, you are only making this worse. You're not making it better. You're making it worse. False accusations. It's making things worse. It's not making it better. You think that if enough men go to jail based on false accusations, you think that that's going to change harassment? No, that is not the change you want. You understand what I'm saying? Because eventually nobody's going to believe this stuff anymore. It's not about believe women and all of this other stuff. Eventually what's going to happen is nobody's going to believe this stuff anymore. Nobody's going to believe what you're saying. And that's what you should be afraid of. Legitimately, some of these guys are disgusting the way how they do things, the way how they talk to women, the way how they feel like they have the right to touch women a certain way. It's disgusting. You understand what I'm saying? We got to be so much more careful today, you know, of even saying hello to women. That's what the, 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 the cause is. That's what the cause. Right? That's the cause of, of it all. So much more careful now. Of this overbearing existence of you don't even know what is right and what is wrong anymore when it comes on to this harassment stuff. You don't know. I'm telling you, I mean, in the past, I would say in the past couple of years, in the past couple of years, I've had women, I've had women, um, I say hello to women, not in a provocative way or, or, or anything like that. I've said hello to women. Hey, how are you today? It's a nice dress you're wearing. You know what I'm saying? You don't even know. She didn't even know if. She didn't even know if, if I was just complimenting her on a nice dress. She just went, all of a sudden, she just goes off. Why, why are you staring at me? I'm not wearing this for you. I'm just complimenting your dress. I've held door for women. Held door for them. Held the door open for them. 
And she opens the other door, a double door. She opens the other door and go in. I don't need a man to open no door for me. What am I supposed to do about that? You know what I'm saying? I, I just don't understand what's going on in the world today where it's a bad thing if I'm in a relationship with a woman and assert dominance. It's 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 a partnership, yeah. But I still hold more than fifty percent. And that's what I tell my I, that's what I tell her. I was like, what did you bring? What did you bring to the table? What? What did you bring to the table? I am the prize, not you. What you bring to the table? A vagina? You brought nothing to the table. Nothing. You can decide today that you're not going to work. Right? You can decide today you're not going to work. I'm not going to leave you for it. Because most men rather their woman to be at home. And not out there doing shit. I could care less if, if you want to work, work. If you don't, you don't have to. Most men don't, don't care if a woman work or not. Real men out here, real alpha males, they don't care. If, if you want to work, work. If you don't, fine. You get what I'm saying? We don't care if that's what you want to do. I'm just saying, if you're a real woman, you will understand that. It's not about, you know what I'm saying? People are going to look down on you and talk about, oh, you you just want a slave. No, no. I don't want a slave. I want a real woman. A woman that's, that's, that's going to consider things in a different manner than the masses. Understand what her role is. That's what I want. I don't want a woman who, when I speak to her, she's going to, to disrespect me in return. And it's not about me. I, I don't assert dominance with, with, by screaming and talking loud to my woman and none of that. No, I, I just express myself how I need to. See, either you accept it or you can leave. You're not a prisoner. You're not a prisoner. Nobody here is abusing you. Any day you feel like you want to be in charge, that's your cue to leave. Simple. That's your cue to bounce out of my life. Fine. What do you think? What do you think this is? I need to understand what your role is. The day you decide to disrespect me when I'm not disrespecting you, I'm not disrespecting you. Because whenever I'm going to do anything, I consider you. I consider your feelings. Because I know you got them. I want you to do the same for me. Don't disrespect me and discard my feelings. You get what I'm saying? Look at what this man is doing. And this woman is still asking for more. Are you serious? I could have understand if she had said, you know, in your off season, you need to spend more time, you know, playing with the kids, whatever. They need their father because during the season, you're super busy and stuff like that. I could totally understand if that's where she was going. But his actual quote, as you can see here, is like, when are you going to do things for the house? When are you going to take the kids to school? Are you serious? Man, what, 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 what is the age? What, what is the goal of this? And this man is checking himself. He's not in charge. He's not in charge. As I said, man, he failed the shit test. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you're talking about the shit test, man. This is what women do, man. This is what women do. This is what women do, man. And... As I said, man, if you are part of the the sliver of percentage 
that is out there that is, you know, a good woman that just wants a good man, man. Shout out to you. But you are not the majority. You know what I'm saying? You are not the majority. There's 7 billion people. <laughs> 7 billion people in this world. Women outnumber men. Right? Women outnumber men. And even if you're going to say half and half, even if you're going to say half and half, 50% women, 50% men, right? And say that's still three and a half billion women on earth. And we're talking about at least, at least, right? We're talking about at least three billion of them being this way. <laughs> at least. You get what I'm saying, guys? And women want to say, oh, they're not manipulative and stuff like that. Listen to me, man. Read between the lines, homie. Read between the lines because they ain't playing. They ain't playing around here. And that's why I'm quick to check them. That's why I'm very quick. Because I used to be a simp, man. I used to be that guy. The hopeful guy. I used to be that guy, man. But ever since I seen them for what they are, man, and be like, yo, I catch that shit. Listen to me, guys. Listen to me. Don't be like Tom Brady. Don't be like Tom Brady. I wouldn't be surprised if a little bit later down the road, maybe about, you know what I'm saying, a little bit down the road. They've been married for 11 years. I wouldn't be surprised in a couple more years you hear that they're getting a divorce. Because he just failed. He failed the shit test. And I'm pretty sure if he if he was asserting dominance before and he decided to check himself, she lost all respect for him. I promise you that she lost all respect for him. If that's the conversation and that's how it went down, as he's describing, or maybe he's just he could have just been saying some shit. But I'm telling you, if this is how it went down and he was telling the actual truth. You get what I'm saying? He has definitely from this point on in the marriage, he has definitely lost her respect. I'm telling you that much. But anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. That's my thoughts. Leave your thoughts in the comments, of course. Sometimes I do stuff like this around here. Shit, shit we should definitely be talking about. You know, um, you know, when I see stuff like this, and it usually is coming from women from different, um, different aspects. If there's anything that you would love to hear what my comments are or what my... Um, regardless of if it's about a man or a woman, you know, and you want my viewpoint on it, please leave the link down in the comment section and I will definitely check it out. Um, if it's a crazy story you want to hear, you want to hear what my thoughts are on it because you guys might think that my life is just about reactions. Um, it's not, I check out other stuff. There's other stuff that I have interest in, of course. So if you want to hear me talk about some other stuff, if you want my comment on, regardless of if it's sports i love sports um also regardless of what it is okay leave the link down in the description if you want my comments on it because this is a segment that i do I, i'm i'm starting to think that i should put this in the weekly calendar as soon as we get back to that um of doing one of these videos every week of me just talking smack <laughs> and just giving you my viewpoints on things um so yeah man talk to you guys so much Love you guys so much, regardless of, of what it is. Um, I know that there's a lot of people, you know, a lot of women that are around the world that are not, they're not like this. But it's, it, 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 I've seen stories from so many different countries, so many different countries. You wonder why, and you wonder why a lot of people are, you know, a lot of men are going outside of the U.S. to find wives and and stuff like this, but it turns out to be the same. I mean, this woman is from Brazil. She's a Brazilian. She's Brazilian born. You know what I'm saying? She's Brazilian born. You know. You know, they're everywhere. They're everywhere, man. So thank you guys so much. Subscribe if you want more. I know most of you guys are not gonna check this out because it's not in your wheelhouse, but it's okay. See you guys later. Hit that like button. Hit that dislike button. Whatever you please. It's my opinion. That's all it is. Thank you guys so much. Peace out. Uh...